Hi St Albans, it's Mrs Abbey here again and I'm here today with another collective worship that is based all around one of our learning bees, one of our learning behaviours that we use in school. And what I want to, is the first thing for you to do is to take a look at the pictures on your screen. What do you think they could be showing? I'll give you just 10 seconds to have a think, maybe to have a think yourself or have a chat with somebody that's in the room with you. What do they represent? So, you might have guessed that those pictures are representing what we know um, is known as a light bulb moment. And this can be a moment when we have an amazing idea or when we suddenly realise something. And we might have a light bulb moment when we suddenly understand a piece of learning, maybe in school or at home, that we might have been finding difficult to begin with. Or it can be the moment when the penny just suddenly drops or the clouds clear and the confusion disappears and it all makes sense. And that is known as a light bulb moment. And it is most definitely a moment that teachers absolutely love to see in our classrooms. And um, it's the pride that we feel when something just clicks for the children in our class. It's absolutely amazing. And this links to our learning B, that is B, a thinker. So, we also might have a light bulb moment when we get a bit older and when we suddenly realise what we want to do with our lives, maybe what we want to work towards when we're older, our profession, maybe who we want to marry or spend the rest of our life with or where we want to live. And we might even have one when we come up with a business idea. We can also have light bulb moments when we realise that a so-called friend is leading us into doing things that we don't want to do. So based around peer pressure that we've talked about in the past. And we might suddenly decide that we're not going to do what they say anymore and we're actually going to make our own decisions. I want you to have a think. Can you um, recognise any of your own light bulb moments? Maybe that you've had due remote learning or maybe that you've had whilst you were in school. Just have a think. The official word for a light bulb moment is an epiphany. And this comes from a Christian festival day that is celebrated on the 6th of January. And on this day, Christians remember the visit of the wise men to baby Jesus. So I want to share a little story with you now that talks about the idea of epiphany. So after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, the Magi or the three wise men as we know them came from the east to Jerusalem and asked where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Well, when King Herod heard this he was disturbed and all of Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all of the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. And they replied, in Bethlehem, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time that the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. And when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. So the Bible describes the wise men, the Magi, as bowing down and worshipping the baby. And for them, this was that light bulb moment, that epiphany. This was no 
ordinary baby. He was holy, a royal leader whose life and death would affect the whole world. The wise men would never be the same after this moment. It was as if a light had been switched on. Now in that Christmas story, the first visitors to see baby Jesus were the shepherds. The other set of visitors were the wise men who had travelled a long way and were probably very rich. Why do you think these two sets of people are significant in this story? Well, for some people, it's a light bulb moment, an epiphany, when they realise that to God, everyone is equal. Neither rich nor poor are more important. So we have the shepherds who may have been seen as poor and the wise men who may have been seen as rich. But to God, everyone is equal. They both visited baby Jesus. Can you think about what that means in maybe your own lives or in the lives of people around us? For us in our own lives, that comes down to treating everybody equally and fairly, no matter what their background, no matter what their faith, no matter what their religion, no matter their gender, anything. It all comes down to treating people equally. So what I want us to do now is to pray. You can put your hands together if you want to or worship as you do. Dear God, we pray for confidence to share your word with others and for the opportunity to, proc to proclaim it. We pray for wisdom to know what should be said and the moment in which to say it. We pray for knowledge of the fullness of your grace and the willingness to live it. Be the centre of all we are, the light by which we talk, the blessing we bring to others. Through Jesus Christ alone we ask. Amen. So that was our um, collective worship linked to our learning be, be a thinker and I know so many of you have been fantastic thinkers while at home and we are so excited to celebrate you coming back to school on Monday the 8th of March where I'm sure you are going to shine and be the amazing thinkers that we know you are.